thousands of zombies have taken to the streets of Key West. Nobody knows what's going on. It appears they're all on a mission. We're just hoping to blend in and remain unnoticed. Zombie Patrol has been called in, but who knows what lies in our future. We might die tonight. Stay tuned to find out what happens next. If you have a will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. Started in 1979 by a small group of locals, Fantasy Fest is an annual 10-day party in paradise for adults. This festival has grown every year since inception and is now the wildest extravaganza around. Fun-loving revelers from around the globe bring their creativity and imaginations as they descend upon Key West each year in October for 10 days, filled with costuming, parades, libations, and excitement. This year's theme, Unicorns and Uniforms, is estimated to bring in 80 to 100,000 people to the tiny island. Each day is full of new parades and specialty theme parties all over Duval Street. Missing one day is missing out on a lot. Our first taste of Fantasy Fest included joining the Goombe Festival. This exuberant street party is a free family-friendly event featuring island arts, music, and food in the heart of Key West historic Bahama Village. Bahama Village is a 12-block area where the first Bohemian settlers arrived in the 19th century. It's the perfect spot to get a taste of the Caribbean, and they definitely know how to party. for that. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. <laughs> you did so good. <laughs> Fantasy Fest Day 2 for us included a mass zombie invasion. Over 7,800 zombies on bicycles to be exact. We took the advice of some longtime locals and decided to tailgate this event instead of becoming zombies ourselves. This was a great idea because we still got to enjoy the fun and didn't risk being trampled by nearly 8,000 zombies on bikes. So here we are in the middle of Zombie Fest, Key West. People's riding around on bicycles. I'm pretty sure they got the COVID vaccine and now they're they're zombies. And we're just sitting off on the sidelines watching them, trying not to get bit. If every once in a while one comes up, we got Jason over here with Plants A Million Corals. He's cooking brains in hot dog tubes. And so we give those out to them, and that seems to keep them from biting us. And so far, it's been working. We've been surviving. Roads barricaded, crazy shit's going down. Nobody knows what's going on. We might die tonight, but right now, as of this moment, we're having a really good time.
It's the last Friday of Fantasy Fest, and tonight is Locals Night or Pirates Night. There's going to be a pirate parade downtown, and we're going to join in with our friends as Unique Corns. So we'll try and pull that for you. We're all going to be a different type of corn. Um, we'll surprise you later what kind of corn we are. And then tomorrow, Saturday, the last Saturday of Fantasy Fest is the main event. And we're going to try and go back downtown for that. There should be a large parade with big floats and tons and tons and thousands of people down there. So the whole process of getting down there is a big thing. It's best to carpool, take the local bus, whatever you can. We decided to take the Vespa since there's a ton of bike and scooter parking at any given moment in downtown Key West. The corn star. <laughs> we got corny. Woo! Popcorn. Candy corn. You look ridiculous and cute. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. You, you too. The pirate parade went well into the evening. With thousands of creative costumes, groups, and contraptions strolling down the road. A grand sight for us first timers. Hands down, Fantasy Fest is the biggest celebration in the Keys all year. And worth checking out at least once in a lifetime. Today's the main event. We're doing it. Fantasy Fest, the real parade. As the start time grew near, thousands of onlookers began to line the streets of Duval in anticipation for the main parade to begin. Normally, over 100 participants march down the street of Key West in uniquely decorated homemade floats. This year was a little smaller, with only about 40 groups entertaining the masses. This was a crazy sight to see firsthand. And more amazing was how organized the event actually was. The streets seamlessly became blocked and unblocked with no disruptions to the flow of the town. Nearly 60,000 people roamed the streets and everyone appeared to be respectful towards each other as well as the Key West authorities. It was amazing to me to see so many people just getting along and having a good time. After the parade, we wandered the streets admiring the artistry of the costumes and body painting. Nick also got to participate in a bit of a singing competition after being called on stage at Irish Kevin's. Unfortunately, due to a biased judge, we lost the competition, but secretly, we won. Are you ready, Team Nicky? 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 Are you ready, because my girlfriend's on Team Marky. 
Fantasy Fest is fun. Shakespeare and Lozy. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's hanging out.